Um, so we had three animals here in the last year that we've um, dealt with cancer. Um, first was our male lion, Jabari. Um, back in January, he had to be euthanized um, with lymphoma. Um, we had treated that cancer um, with chemotherapy. Initially, we had some response to treatment, and we were really happy with that. Um, but as his health continued to decline, we made the difficult decision to euthanize him. Our male meerkat, Spot, had surgery um, about 10 days ago, um, they were able to remove the liver load that had the tumor inside it. Um, and he seems to be recovering from surgery very well. And he's here with his friend Adina. Um, and they, he seems to be doing great now. So um, we'll continue to watch him very closely as he recovers. Um, but it seems at this point that everything was successful. Uh, and then third, unfortunately, just recently, um, our, our sloth bear, Jack, who everyone knew because he participated in the sloth bear feedings. He went off food and we weren't sure what was wrong with him. Um, the signs began to show that it, it looked like he had liver cancer, which is something that's common in sloth bears. And um, then we noticed he became jaundice, which just means his mucous membranes began to yellow, um, which is usually indicative of liver failure. Um, and in his case, he ended up going to surgery last Saturday night. Um, and when they opened him up, he was full of uh, tumors, mostly uh, surrounding his liver and stomach and things like that. There was nothing that we could do uh, for him other than to, uh, to euthanize him and make sure that, that he wasn't suffering. And so, you know, we've had three cases in four months where we've had animals at the zoo that, that have had cancer and um, it's something that we have to deal with, just like people have to deal with cancer. And, and, and sometimes it works out that we're able to deal with it and unfortunately, Again, just like people, it doesn't work out sometimes, um, despite things like giving an animal chemotherapy.